talk about seizing the day and making the best of every opportunity, here's the first of a few stories on serendipity in Rome. After spending some time videoing in the Circo Massimo, I went into the church shown in this photo, um, Santa Maria in Cosmedin, and outside you've got the Bocca della Verità, the Mouth of Truth. Um, I tried getting there, the queues were too long, so I made my way up the Aventine Hill. Going up the Aventine, there are numerous stopping off points, so I called into the Orange Garden and a few of the churches on the way up, made some little videos for my students as well. The skyline in Rome is dotted around with churches, of course with St Peter's at the Vatican being the largest of them all, and I was trying to think about what little videos I could make regarding sexualities and genders, health and well-being. Rome is an icon to the juxtaposition between the human and the divine, the seraphic and erotic, and the spiritual and corporeal. So I went to the top of the Aventine, went into the Benedictine Church of San Anselmo, and when I came out I, um, I'd intended to look through the Aventine keyhole, but the queue was so long I decided just to make my way back down the hill. After reading books and studying so many videos on how to make documentaries for the classroom, then I decided just to make lots of B-roll, as it's called, um, as I was walking down the hill, taking photos and making video shots. Another queue I felt too long to stand at was at the Mouth of Truth. And then when I came across this one, I thought, well, this is about the closest I'm going to get. And fortunately, there weren't too many people hanging around, so I could take some good photos and some videos. Rome is just so wonderfully full of images of life down throughout the ages, uh, wherever one goes really. Some of the images really handsome, others a little bit of a gargoyle. And I decided to stop here then and make uh, a short video. Hi everyone and welcome to Rome. Tanti um, auguri da Roma, every greeting to you from Rome. As you can see, I'm not standing by the mouth of truth. I went there first thing this morning and there were just so many queues standing around that I thought I'd never get to that. And even the beautiful keyhole looking right across Rome, I promised you that I'd show you some of that, but the queues are absolutely massive, so I've resisted on that one as well. Hope you enjoyed this one. I looked down and smiled at Keith's dog, then uh, looked back up at the, the man walking with him and said buongiorno signore to him, and that's when he spoke back to me in English. With a few other English-speaking people in tow, um, a group of us walked into the Basilica di Santa Sabina and Keith was um, a perfect guide for us and he was telling us that some of the panels on these doors are uh, the earliest carvings in Christendom. Then Keith let me interview him uh, on camera. Uh, look, I met this guy. Yeah, okay. So say who you are. Uh, okay, my name is Keith Gilbert, I'm a professor <laughs> Uh, at uh, John Cabot University and also a professor at a visiting professor at Foro Italico here in Rome. Uh, but I was a uh, professor at the University of East London, of which I am now Professor Emeritus. Uh, but my area is sport, sport management. Brilliant. Basically. And you've done some stuff around sexual health and about HIV. Yeah, sure. I wrote a paper about sexuality and uh, sport and HIV AIDS and sport probably when I was in Boston living with I work with Boston Glass, which is a gay organization, uh, probably about 2012, 2010, something like that, yeah. I think. Well, I have a PhD student that, I, that, that was gay, and I wrote uh, a book with him after his PhD, uh, and um, it's very interesting. So, I'm, I can't remember the name of the book now. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, but I'm going to check it out. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. get it and yeah. read it. Yeah. I will indeed. Uh, and so, uh, I've been very interested in the area for a long time. Yeah. Uh, I'm a sociologist of sport, but really working in the sport management area here Gosh. because I can spin off. And I'm off yeah. to Geneva soon, so uh -huh. if you want to visit Geneva? Brilliant. <laughs> and Keith, you were saying you're a National Teaching Fellow. Yeah, I'm a National Teaching yeah. Fellow. Yeah, and the two of us, we've just passed now on the Aventine Hill, yeah. and we met because I looked at your little doggy because yeah. I've got three Rupert. little ones similar. This Rupert. is Rupert. Yeah. Okay, hello, Rupert. Okay, Keith, really fantastic, and thank you yeah. so much no for this problem. video. If you need any more information, everybody... <laughs> <laughs> that was such a wonderful opportunity meeting Keith. Uh, his two publications that he referred to are actually on the WordPress site on which this video is now hosted.